Hey all and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So with the current combat rework and the way the system is set up where the more item level you gain, the more hit points and the more damage and outgoing healing you will have. With this setup, companion gear is pretty important for gaining that extra item level and then those statistics to progress with your character. So as soon as you hit level 80, I highly recommend getting a set of companion gear to go and slot in with these equipment slots and ideally you would get those thousand item level or higher pieces of companion gear with having companion gear you can see there it will give you those stats the extra combined rating and most importantly the item level you can see with having three of them at above a thousand there that's three thousand item level and three thousand item level is a significant amount of base damage along with hit points giving you both survivability and also more damage however at a certain point when you go over a certain point in item level in these random queues a lot of them you will get scaled down to a certain point and that way it doesn't really become relevant but for the newer players generally those of you who are around like 15,000 20,000 you ideally want to get up to nearly that 40,000 mark of item level especially if you're trying to get into the newest zone new Sharandar you will need to meet the requirement of hitting 40,000 item level to access this newest campaign. So getting companion gear is a pretty easy method to get higher item level. Now of course outside of that I would mainly prioritize just getting this nice high gear. Very easy method is just to go to the seals vendor and you can get some pretty decently high item level gear there as we can see by in her store here up to 1300 with those seals of the wilds now once you have your gear you don't want to look at enchantments you don't really want to look at mounts or their insignias just yet you want to be looking at your companions and the equipment they give you so this companion equipment where best can you obtain it well when you have fully completed out the under mountain campaign which i highly recommend from level 70 to level 80 it's a pretty good leveling campaign you'll just go throughout all these zones and pick up these rewards with these boon points and you'll go all the way up and once you finally hit the last task here master expeditions you will unlock these daily quests which you can pick up from abaya ude and with completing those quests you'll gain a few rewards from her but nothing special what you want to do is you enter into the master expedition and make sure you place a rune on one of those altars you just need one any more will just create more difficulty and it really won't make much of a difference in order to get those runes you'll have to farm the essence within those runic encounters within the other zones in the under mountain now once you have placed the rune then you should proceed on with the expedition now you can go and collect the relics it will increase the chances of getting better rewards from abaya ude herself you can even get companion gear from her as well but at a pretty low chance now what you really want to be doing is getting to the end once you get to the end and as long as you've placed a rune at the beginning of one of the altars you will go and open this chest and once you've opened the chest it will give you one of these etchings which you see here these rune etchings so whenever you complete a master expedition you'll be able to complete three per day per character you will gain one of these etchings i've done three of them today along with a warden expedition which i'll get into later so these etchings what can you do with them well when you hop over into the yawning portal you want to head under the stairs here by this bank guy and this little vendor here zok this ugly little guy and you inspect what he has and he'll give you chests of the lost adventurers and with this you'll be able to as you can read there in the tooltip it will contain a variety of common goods and a chance to get one of the following a vanity pet or a piece of level 80 artifact equipment including our companion gear so we'll go and we'll obtain a few of these boxes we got three of them there and then we can go and open them now in these boxes you can obtain companion gear along with rough astral diamonds and some silly potions here is the companion gear i'm talking about however you will frequently obtain like green and blues and on an off chance you can obtain this epic 
gear like I have here. And this is pretty much the best companion gear you can obtain in the game outside of going to this redeemed citadel campaign which will be close to many of you guys and here in the milestone 4 you can obtain those blessed gifts of the companion obtaining companion gear with 1100 item level so it will only be a little bit higher than what you could normally obtain you can see those ones are here and some of them are not actually great as they have like an offense and a defense slot on a offense statistic like giving combat advantage there and it has an offense and defense slot ideally you would want two offense slots there so that's not great the only real good ones is if you want to get like this critical strike one as two offense slots this accuracy one does as well and let's say you want to have double defense slots then like this deflection one not great because it has an offense and a deflect one whereas this defense one would be a decent one having two defense slots so some of the master expedition gear companion gear is still really good and some of the redeemed citadel ones is good too but the difference in the item level isn't going to be a huge big deal so the main place you'd be obtaining them is from master expeditions from mainly Zark with those etchings. Now of course you can also head over to Stardock over here. You'll of course have had to go and unlock it by proceeding onwards with the quests after the Master Expeditions. You'll unlock this place right here and you'll be able to head down the steps here to this NPC and this NPC is able to give you these gathering intelligence quests and when you go and gather up the intelligence and you complete the quests like either getting those supplies and killing the enemies you complete the quest hand it back to him and he'll give you this intelligence and once you have two scrolls of the intelligence you can go and proceed onwards and do a warden expedition now the warden expedition is very similar to master expeditions you will find it much harder to get people to actually join you on these but it's a much easier way to farm out your actual companion gear now the reason being is again you will just have to place a rune but you won't have to gather any magic relics so you won't have to worry about that whatsoever you will still get those occasional runes that will proc on the ground make sure to avoid them as a paladin i can hold up our shield to make sure you block that and you don't proc it because this you can get some real nasty effects there anyway but moving on you go to the very end you get to the third area and you will have a unique boss unlike the master expeditions these bosses will be either a githyanki boss depending if you're doing a githyanki warden expedition or an illithid boss if you're doing an illithid warden expedition once you defeat that boss it has a chance to drop companion gear up to epic rarity again now this companion gear you can go and farm out again and again without actually using up the intelligence because what you can do is you can kill the boss he'll drop the companion gear then you can quit out and you can go and do the warden expedition again now, i don't know if that's a bug and it may be exploiting if you do that but alternatively of course you can go pick up the contents from your chest you'll obtain that etching and then you can hand in the quest and he'll give you uh, i believe like a fragment rod that's to go on and do fragment expeditions but they only give you shirt and pants so i wouldn't worry about it again you'll go and teleport back to zok in the yawning portal as we'll do right now and we hand in our final etching for the day to this guy you can also obtain these vanity chests if you farm out those actual weave touched fragments you obtain them from like killing the boss mobs within the under mountain areas anyway with this chest of lost adventures again just has the same rewards there giving either like here some high item level gear or some companion equipment however this gear is kind of outdated now and you're better off getting gear from like Valenhast or Avernus and that's a higher item level gear or even just from the seals and let's see what we get from this vanity pat one we just get this guy right here I don't believe I actually have him that's in there he's just like one of those frog creatures okay anyway that aside there's also another method which you can obtain companion equipment you can go and farm a trial you can farm like the newest trial the Zariel's challenge you can either do the normal version or you can do the master version and both will drop you again companion equipment if you're lucky you'll even get the epic rarity companion equipment now the epic rarity companion equipment is definitely what you want to be obtaining as it will have more of those runestone slots and if you have more runestones you can slot them in and you'll gain more item level 
more stats. And if you're running with an active companion which will do damage for you, you ideally want those indomitable rune stones slotted in there, so having six of those slots is pretty good there. Also, just a heads up, we can also obtain another one of these free packs with just a stone of health, another cloak, and then just XP booster and Idri kits. Now to do this, you'll have to click the link in the description below and it should lead you to this Razor Insider page. And here you'll be able to go and click the link down here to get your key and verify that you're not a bot and obtain your key like this one here. And then you can go to the Arc Games uh, website and you should be able to redeem it there. And with that, we obtained this gift of the King's Kin and yeah, really nothing special. For me, it's literally just a free stone of health. It'll help me get through the dungeon a bit easier. We can, of course, just convert the cloak and add it to our collection. And that's it. So that's going to wrap up this video. And I can't stress enough how important companion equipment is. And it's very easy just to gain that free item level. It's much like joining a guild. When you join a guild, you will also obtain three of these boons, which give you a thousand item level as long as the guild is maxed out and on rank 20. So it's just as valuable as that, obtaining this free item level and statistics. Now, of course, you do ideally also want to get the companion equipment that suits your your class and what build you want to be running with whether it's offense or defensive so that is enough said hopefully i presented this well and if it was clear enough if you have any further questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now